Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Have you had a good time tonight? Yeah. Can I get a hell yeah? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The hell yeah, bitch. Hell yeah, bitch. You make me want to touch myself in public. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've had a fantastic time. Let me tell you, y'all have been amazing. Thank you so much for showing me so much love. y'all was tipping like that, bitch. <laughs> I'm glad y'all increments the bill started fine because, bitch, if you give me some coins, we're going to have to have a moment about that, bitch. <laughs> Don't need no damn quarter, bitch. <laughs> toonies. <laughs> toonies. The toonies? Toonies, two dollars. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm walking around with a pocket full of change, shit, my bitch. <laughs> It's like 50 cent American. Damn. So how much is five dollars worth? Four bucks? I can still get a coffee, right? All right, shit. <laughs> oh my god, okay, so look. Before I go. Don't go. I know, don't go. But I gotta meet and greet and meet you. We should change it to the meat and eat. <laughs> we'll talk later, but bitch, if you got eating, we well, uh, can get down to it, honey. Let's get to the meat and eat, honey. <laughs> but, um, I just want to like uh, share a little bit of um, old school wisdom bestowed upon all of you in hopes and in life that you will see that there is a brighter and most prosperous tomorrow for all of you. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> With all the things and shit going on in the world, it's like, how do you stay positive? How do you stay above it all? Simply that, stay above it, bitch. Don't give in to the bullshit. You know what I mean? <laughs> the only way to be above it is to be above it. Don't talk about it, be about it. You know what I mean? I let my work speak for itself. And bitch, I'm 26 years in the business. That's a long time. How many people are 26 and under in here tonight? Yeah. Fuck all the way off. <laughs> Got penny girls older than your ass. <laughs> but the moral and the point of the story is that anything that you get in life that's worth working for and working hard for. Like, you know my story, you know that I've come from shit, from nothing. I've lost everything that meant anything to me all at once. And if you can rise and come from that and become a phoenix and fly and soar and become someone that people look up to, admire and admire, just got the right to vote back in the state of Florida. So yeah. Things are looking up. Are things Canada? are looking up. What happened? You're coming to Canada. What, are I coming here? Yeah. Y'all don't want me. <laughs> Y'all barely, barely have a bitch in just now, bitch. I'm like, look, I ain't trying to push it. We're going to try to get in a few more years and then I'll come and, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can really talk about relocating. But, um, <laughs> the moral of the story is that um, I didn't have a voice for over a decade. I couldn't speak, I couldn't vote, I couldn't participate in my life. However, I'm paying my taxes and I'm becoming a good citizen and I'm a role model and I speak and preach love and not hate and I'm trying to be the best person that I can be as a citizen. You know what I mean? So it just didn't make sense why I couldn't have a vote and a say in my life. But it was people that did have a vote and a right and a voice that made that change happen. So I want you to know and understand the importance of each one of your voices. Stay involved. Don't sell yourself short and feel like you're less than because you are so important in your own life, in the growth of your life. So make sure that you are prominent and there and present and anything and everything is possible because I'm a six foot four black drag queen that is doing the shit out of this shit. I'm 
a mogul, I'm a business owner, I am doing things. You understand what I'm saying? So don't let your past dictate your future because if I can do it, you can do it. I love you so much. There's nothing you can do.